Here's some things you'll need to make brake line ends and to change the brake lines you'll need to measure the amount of line you need with a tape measure and you'll have to flare the line with a double flaring kit which has these circle things that uh, insert in the line and smash down that bunches the line up then flare it after you bunch it up if you try to flare a steel line without piling the metal up it'll just split so I'm going to go through the process of putting an end on this line I've already measured the length I need First, you need to cut the line the length you need it. And once that's nice and cut off, just snurl that down some. And you want to flare that back out, or at least get the closed part off. Let's take this triangular piece they built on these cutters. pick any metal filings out of there. Ultimately uh, if you use air on the other end it'll blow this out. I really don't this will be hooked directly to the ABS unit and I don't want any uh, foreign materials going into it. And these ones go out without any help. First thing you need to put on is whatever fitting you're hooking to. If you're hooking uh, there's half inch there's metric whatever this is a fitting off of the ABS unit I'm just going to put it back on this new line so don't forget your coupling now this will set on there they put a measurement on this is from that fat washer to the end of it is how much of the line is going to stick up through this clamp just pretty much slide it across and until it flushes with the top of the line. Maybe just a hair and want more. Then you clamp it down there. Then I'll put this deal on. And one of these adapters. smash that down and it'll form a mushroom head on the steel line and that's what's going to be flared and there's a little mushroom head now I'll just use a similar tool this one just got a hand, quick handle on it so I don't have to erect it on it it does the same thing as that other one Flare this into a bevel. I always get a good cone out of it. Doesn't have to be super, super tight. And there's the new end. Split free. And clamp it. I usually kind of just get this loose enough to square up those teeth marks so the fitting don't get hung up on it.
It really doesn't hurt to put a little bit of grease under that. It'll spoil the fitting from going to it. It's not, you don't want to get it in the line. The vice is handy to hold the line too. There's a brake line that'll fit, fit right in there.